Two minus fifteen. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and lift off. Go Falcon. Go G set twenty. Vehicles pitching down range. Stage one check pressure nominal. T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station carrying the GSAT N2 satellite. Now during ascent here we will tilt... Power and telemetry are nominal. We will tilt or gimbal the engines and this will turn the rocket horizontally in a maneuver known as a gravity turn. Now we're still going up as you can see in that telemetry in the bottom left side of your screen. Falcon 9 is supersonic. But we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad, now at supersonic speeds. We should be throttling the engines down soon in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. There we go, we just heard that call out. This is a critical moment during flight because the combined stresses caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere and the ambient static pressure are at their greatest. Now, the rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and to get into orbit. You can track our progress to orbit by keeping an eye on that stage one telemetry in the, in the bottom left side of your screen. We just heard we're starting the ascent chill on the MVAC engine, and we are coming up on a series of events. Those are main engine cutoff, or MECO, followed by stage separation, second engine start one, or SES one, and then following that is fairing separation. During MECO, we do shut down those nine M1D engines, and then following that, we separate the first stage and the second stage. Once separated from the second stage, the booster will flip its orientation and begin heading back to Earth, and simultaneously, the second stage MVAC engine will ignite. Following that quickly will be a fairing separation. So we should be coming up on MECO in just a few seconds here. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. And there we go. We just saw that series of events, starting with main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation, and then following that was second engine start one. As you can see there on your screen, the MVAC engine is now lit in space and heading towards orbit. Coming up shortly, you should hear a call out for fairing separation. Getting some great views of both stages in flight right now. You can see the first stage on the left side of your screen, now in a coast phase, and the second stage on the right side of your screen, burning towards orbit. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we go, great news. Just saw those two fairing halves separate. Our payload, GSAT N2, is now exposed to the vacuum of space, heading towards its intended orbit. Now we're just at about T plus 3 minutes and 45 seconds into today's mission. At T plus 6 and a half minutes, we expect to have some great views of the first stage entry burn. Now for this entry burn, we do light three of the M1D engines on the first stage, and that'll start with the center E9 engine, followed shortly by E1 and E5 engines. And this slows the, vehicles down, the vehicle down as it passes back into the Earth's atmosphere. We need to do this in order to reduce re-entry forces, and this ultimately helps us recover and reuse the second stage, or the first stage, rather. During this entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating by firing its Merlin engines, but we are still moving very fast. And this causes the vehicle to fly through Merlin's exhaust gases, also sometimes called the rocket's plume. And this will deposit a layer of soot on the vehicle's surface, 
And that's why our flight-proven vehicles look so toasty. And of course, that soot comes from the carbon-based fuel that Falcon 9 uses. And we are coming up on that entry burn in just about a minute now. You might notice in the first stage telemetry on the bottom left side of your screen, our altitude is now decreasing while our speed is increasing. Gravity has taken over and the vehicle is Both now- Both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. The first stage is now heading back down towards Earth on a nominal trajectory as we just heard on the nets. And of course the second stage continuing to accelerate towards its intended orbit, now going over 13,000 kilometers per hour at an altitude of 160 kilometers. Getting some really incredible views from space here on both stages. Again, coming up on that entry burn in just around 20 seconds on the first stage, you can see the vehicle is now positioned to relight those engines and re-enter the atmosphere. You can see our grid fins are deployed and these fins will help guide the vehicle back down to its landing location. Stage one entry burn startup. Stage one FTS has saved. There we just heard the call out for the entry burn and as you can see those engines are now burning on the first stage and rapidly slowing us down and this burn should last just around 20 seconds. Stage one entry burn shut down. And there's that call out for the end of the entry burn. Reusability is key to lowering the cost of spaceflight, and this enables more investment in critical scientific research. The Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission just performed that entry burn for its 19th time. The Merlin engines on the first stage are optimized for sea level. These engines achieve 190,000 pounds of thrust during ascent and descent. And the MBAC engine on the second stage is optimized to operate in the vacuum of space, producing just about 220,000 pounds of thrust. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Now we just heard stage two is in terminal guidance, which means coming up next, we will be shutting the MBAC engine down on the second stage. Following that very shortly should be our landing burn on the first stage. Stage one transonic. Now we just heard the stage one is now traveling below the speed of sound. You can see we are approaching some cloud cover on the left side of your screen. Stage two FTS is saved. And again, as a reminder, we are targeting a landing on our drone ship. Just read the instructions, which is currently in the Atlantic Ocean. Stage one landing burn. There we go. We just, heard, shut down. we just heard the landing burn has started on the first stage and the second engine has now shut down. You can see the drone ship just below the first stage there as we come in for a landing. Nominal orbital insertion. Stage one landing line deploy. Stage one landing confirmed. And there you have it. That landing marks SpaceX's 371st recovery of an orbital class rocket, which includes first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy.